Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Python tutorial, we are going to learn what is a zip function in Python and how you can use zip function to iterate over multiple lists within Python. So here I am on the official documentation page and if we go to the library reference and here we will go to the built-in functions. Now in the built-in functions you will see the zip function. So we'll click on zip function and here you will see that the uh, description of the zip function is there. So what exactly zip function does is you can anyways go through and read it. Uh, but in very simple terms, zip function will take the uh, iterables. Basically iterables could be list, tuple, etc. And say for example, you pass on two lists within the zip function. What it will do it do is it will map the values from list one to list two. Okay. And it will give you the output. So basically it will return an iterator so that you can use that iterator to print the mapped values. We'll see all that in example. So do not worry about that. So here, if you want to read, you can read the details. So it returns an iterator of tuples. Okay. And what it takes. So it takes the arguments as iterables. So iterables could be your lists could be your string. So whatever, whatever iterables are possible, you know, like the list, tuples, dictionary sets uh, that can, can be passed as iterables. So let's quickly understand the example. So I'll quickly create a file here and I'll say zip function demo. Okay. Now I will quickly define two lists here. Okay. So for say, for example, I'll define list one and I'll have certain values there. So for example, I'll have the countries and the second list will contain the cities of these countries. So let's take any city. Okay. So now I have two lists and say, for example, I want to zip these. So if I use a zip function, what exactly it will do is it will map these. So it will map India to Pune because these are lists. So they are indexed. So India is at zero, Pune is at zero. So these two will be mapped. USA will be mapped to New York. Australia will, will be mapped to Sydney and UK will be mapped to London, right? Because there are four values in each of these lists. So each of the value from list one will be mapped to the value in the list two, right? So if we use a zip function, so what it will do is it will say, for example, I'll take another variable and I'll name the variable, just say, for example, S and zip will and I'll zip list one to list two. Now in this particular particular case, what if we try to print what S will be? So S will be an object. Okay. So if we run this, you will see that it's a zip object. Now, if we want to see the mapped values, we can store these into a list. Okay. So I can simply say list. If I say list S typecast it and then print it, you will see that India is mapped to Pune and the returned values are the tuples, right? So after the mapping, it will return the tuple. So India is mapped to Pune, USA to New York, Australia to Sydney, UK to London, right? So this is the basic zip function and what zip function will actually do. Now you can use zip function to iterate through the multiple list that we'll understand in just a moment. Uh, before that, say for example, there are mismatch. So list one has four items and list two has five items, say for example. Okay. So list five has another city, which is Melbourne. So what will be uh, in the, in this case? So if you run this, you will see that it still return the same result because when you are doing uh, when you're using zip, it will map one to one. And in this particular case, because the first list has only four values, it will map only the four values in the second list and leave the remaining as is. Okay. So that's the basic of uh, the zip function. Uh, you can do a lot more with the zip function. You can go ahead and read the documentation, but as of the automation perspective, I don't think that you'll be required a lot more detail in those aspects, but zip function will definitely be required in many of the scenarios. So uh, I'll walk you through one of the scenario as well, where you will be using zip function in any day to day programming or the automation. Now, say for example, I want to iterate over Right. So I want to iterate over these two lists so I can simply use the for loop. And as we have done with the other examples, so let me comment these out. So I can say for, I can take two variables for X and Y because we want to iterate over 
these two lists. So I'll take two variables and then say in and because we are using the zip function. So we can simply say zip and then we'll say list list one comma list two. And in this particular case, we want to say, for example, print the values X and Y. Okay. So now we have two lists and we are, we are iterating over those two lists and printing the values out. So if I run this, you will see the values have been mapped and printed accordingly. Okay. Now real example of this zip function where it could be really helpful. Say, for example, you have a Excel sheet which contains the values the total cost and the sale price price and you want to ca calculate the profit profit of each of those so zip function comes to rescue and in that particular case it will very quickly do the calculations for you so how you will do it so say for example there is a list one let me quickly copy this what you can do is from the excel you can read the values into the list uh, and then say for example list one has the total cost so let me name it as uh, total cost the variables total total cost and this is sale price okay now the profit will be total cost uh, or sale price minus total cost that's the profit profit right so if say for example the cost was 45 let's say it we have seven items or five items in this particular case okay let's keep it four and the sale price okay now how can i use the zip function to calculate the profit so in this particular case i can use this for loop to iterate over these multiple lists so i'll say for x and y in zip so we'll use zip function and we'll say total cost and sale price and here what we'll do is we'll subtract so sale price is stored in y so we'll say y minus x all right so whatever value will be returned after subtracting sale price uh, total cost from sale price will be our profit okay so if you run this you will see that these numbers are our profit so you can see how we can utilize the zip function to basically do these simple cal calculations and these will be really helpful even in the automation journey that there will be many scenarios where we might be required to use the zip function map them and then do certain calculations and get the outcome accordingly okay so this is all about the zip function it was a quick one so it's uh, what exactly the zip function is it will map the values from uh, you know iterables so iterables could be list tuple sets etc so i can have the set the the sets here as well so tuples say for example so i can change these two tuples and it will work still exactly same okay so let me change these ones as well and see the outcome so you can see still it works so any sort of iterable you can use with the zip function okay now if say for example i use the set in this particular case then as we know sets are not ordered right so it could be possible that any value from the first set can be mapped to the any of the value to the second set okay so if i run this now you will see that all the numbers are random because there is no fixed order i'll show you with the list one list two so that it's more clear okay and i'll say just print y comma x and here you'll see that pune india new york usa sydney australia london uk uh, because this is this is tuple so i haven't changed it to set let me change it to set so now i have changed these list one and list two to set and now if i run this you will see the mapping is random so sydney's map to india pune australia new york usa and london uk if you run again it might change that order right so that's that's what uh, happens with sets so sets are not ordered so when you use the zip function it map it might map to any random number from the other set but if you're using the list or tuple then that particular case one to one mapping will happen as they are ordered okay so that's all for this tutorial on zip functions in python and how it is really helpful and how you can iterate over multiple lists in python so i hope this tutorial was helpful thank you very much for watching